looks uber duperly disgusting, but y'all have to uber duperly excuse me because, yeah, I just came back from school and it's like 5.30 right now. So, anyways, today's session of tips is help for nails. Um, I got, these are some commonly asked questions that y'all didn't ask me, but they're very common and I want to give a solution for it and I researched this and yeah, so I'm going to have a video on this. Okay, first thing, hangnails. Um, you have a hangnail, which is basically a torn piece of skin um, near the near the nail caused by dryness. A hangnail can be very painful, especially if you pick or bite at it, so don't. Instead, use nail clippers to cut the hangnail off as close as to the skin as possible. Then apply um, then apply like some antibacterial ointment, and um, to make sure it doesn't get infected. It's also best to wait a day or two for the damaged area to heal before applying polish. You can try to prevent hangnails by massaging hand lotion into the skin around your nails and um, this will help it from drying out and tearing. So that's a hangnail. Second are white spots. And by the way, I don't have perfect nails so I'm going to go ahead and show you my really bad nail and it has a white spot on it. Yeah, focus, 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 come on. But I hope it focused because I don't have the, okay, my camera is like a camera. It's not like camp, camcorder with a little cool screen or any of that good jank. It's just a camera that I take pictures from and I also film from, so yeah. Anyways, back to white spots. Like, like, um, never mind, don't use like. White spots can be caused by poor nutrition, so make sure you're eating lots of fruits, vegetables, and whole grain foods. White spots can also be a sign of damage to the nail bed caused while cleaning under your nail. Go easy with a nail brush and don't use any hard objects or a metal file to clean under your nails. Um, the good news about white spots is that they'll eventually grow out and my hair looks stupid, so whatever. Anyways, okay, so that's white spots. The third thing is yellow nails. And I know a lot of y'all might be getting yellow nails from like, you know, just having just yellow nails. And then some can get from polish. So I have a little solution to that too. If you polish your nails a lot, um, yellowing is very common. Yellowing is caused by harsh dyes in the polish. Give your nails a break and go with a natural look for a while. You can also soak nails to, for, in lemon juice for five minutes to whiten them. When you do paint your nails, you can apply a base coat of clear polish to protect the nails from dyes. Better yet, look for polish in a non-yellowing formula. So that will like sort of help not get you yellow nails once it's done. Okay, fourth thing. Okay, I'm going to call this, how cute is this name? Critical Cuticles. Hey, Tanisha got a new name. Okay, so a cuticle acts as a seal between your nail and the rest of your skin on your finger. It prevents dirt and bacteria from getting below the nail. Keep cuticles up to task with a bit of extra care. First, soften your cuticles by rubbing hand lotion and then um, use some cuticle cream or cuticle oil into them. Then after a bath or shower, use a wet washcloth and gently push cuticles back off the nail. Steer clear of orange wood sticks and cuticle tools. They are not as gentle as a washcloth. Whatever you do, don't cut your cuticles. You could damage the seal and risk infection. So those, I feel like, are the four most commonly things people get. And a lot of people have very, quite, they have questions about them. So I wanted to address that. And I'm sorry, I've been slacking on videos. I have school. I know, same excuse every time. And it's not going to work anymore. But I hope you all excuse me. And yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like get into a routine, you know, like I'm going to do this. And this is a really long video about me rambling on about my sad, sad life, okay? Anyways, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.